All eyes were once more on arguably this city's most compelling building. St Mark's Basilica sits at Venice's lowest point, and the fear was more flooding could again threaten a structure which had already been breached by water. We were taken in and downwards to the basilica's oldest point. You can see here we have the uh, graves of the patriarchs. The crypt where the tombs of archbishops going back centuries rest. Every one of them was submerged underwater after a near record high tide earlier this week. Well, it's a mixture of uh, sadness, frustration, and uh, you know, trying to find a way to solve it. We have to solve it. Uh, this can't happen again. But it has happened again. Italy's culture minister tweeting these images, saying no words are necessary for what's happening in Venice, just these pictures from St Mark's. Parts of the basilica were flooded for a second time this week after a high tide which peaked at 1.54 metres. Strong winds and rain had made for a toxic mix in the morning, leaving St Mark's Square near desolate, save for a few business people battling to protect their premises. You'll find remarkably philosophical people in Venice. Some told us we live with the water. Our ancestors, the generations before us, experienced flooding. But most will point to the fact this is 2019 when they say scenes like this should be preventable. There's no business being done at Giorgio Penso's store today. Close to the Basilica, it's also underwater. He's angry a flood defence system, which has been years in the making, is still not up and running. We hope that the government will give us some money at least to repair the first damages. Only that, and hoping they can then help us even further. The square and its inhabitants were not the only casualties. In street after street, businesses were pumping out and drawing sympathy from visitors who found themselves in the middle of the deluge. This family from the UK were trying to make the best of the conditions. It's hard for us, but it's harder for them. Yeah. So you're aware, I mean, they, they must be losing a lot of trade. Oh, yeah, definitely. Everywhere we're trying yeah. to go in, everywhere's shut. The Italian government has declared a state of emergency here, freeing up tens of millions of euros to help repair the city. But what so many want is investment to ensure this doesn't happen again. Michelle Clifford, Sky News, Venice, Italy.